What's up witches and warlocks, Puma Fist here. So today I'm going to channel my inner perch and I'm going to answer a viewer question. So this morning I got a question from Resistance Publishing. Shout out to Resistance Publishing. And he sent me a very, very, very simple question in regards to my video yesterday where I was complaining about crowdfunding and, you know, the comic book industry and yada, yada, yada. So Resistance Publishing just simply sends, what's a better solution? Holy shit, sometimes just asking the simplest question can really get your fucking brain going. So I started thinking today, all right, how can we do this? How can we do this? And I think I found a solution. I think I have the solution that will save the comic book industry here in the West. It'll fight the big two. In fact, it'll fight all the publishers. And it'll fight manga. Now, I know these are some bold claims, but hear me out. Okay, you make an anthology book. Uh, it'll have six to ten stories in it, uh, between five and ten pages in length each. And each one of those will be a different genre. It'll be superhero, young adult, uh, humor, mystery, uh, horror, right? So that way the reader is going to get a variety of different things. And we'll have multiple artists and writers working on this as well. So how this will work, with those six to ten stories uh, per month, what we'll do is we'll give it a three-month run. At the end of that three-month run, we'll hold a survey We'll host a poll, and the readers of the book can vote on which titles they like the best. The ones they like the best get to stay for another three months. The ones they like the least will 86 those and make room for new stories to fill the spot. Now, next three months goes by. We'll do the same thing again. We'll take another poll from the viewers, the readers. <clears throat> the ones that win out automatically get kicked out of the main book and become their own title. The ones that don't su succeed get kicked out as well, but they make room for new stuff to come in. And you keep this system going forever. So once something gets popular and it's got a six months run, it gets kicked out and becomes its own title. Boom. Now you're fighting the fucking comic book industry. All around, you're fighting manga. Now, there's a couple other things that need to go along with this. It has to have distribution. It has to be in comic book stores. It's got to be in Walmart. It's got to be in Barnes & Noble. It's got to be anywhere that they sell fucking books. It has to. There's no if, ands, or buts. The problem, like I said, you know, with, uh, with these uh, crowdfunders is the, it's all direct sales. So, crowdfunders aren't helping out the local comic book store. So, that's... that's now... It's done. It's, it's, a di it's good for the guys that are crowdfunding. They're making a shitload of money, but it's not helping the industry. It's not helping the economy either with local comic book stores. It's not helping uh, major retailers either because they can't sell the product. So that's my idea. Now, there's a couple other things that go along with this. Um, like I said, you would have to have multiple writers and multiple artists. That's cool. Uh, this will give... Uh, new talent, a showcase. And I would like to try to get new people. In fact, I, you know, this would be a thing where we would hold submission contests. Like, uh, throw out an idea for a character and let young up-and-comers uh, showcase their writing talent based off the idea we throw out. And same thing with the art. Show us what you can do with this. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea. And I think uh, a lot of people really get on board with this. Um, there is a stipulation with the, with the talent involved, though. There is a stipulation. Keep your fucking mouth shut. And that's non-negotiable. Nobody needs to know your fucking politics. And if you, if you interact with the public, you be fucking polite. Even if they're assholes to you, you be fucking polite. You smile and nod. You don't fucking get into politics. You know what? Uh... And <laughs> comic books need to be bipartisan. Entertainment needs to be bipartisan. That's what I see everywhere when people are complaining. Can't we just get something where there's no fucking id poll, no fucking identity politics? It's got to go. So this book 
would be totally devoid of that. This whole system would be devoid of that. You can't fucking run your mouth. No matter how bad you want to. If you do, you're fired. You're fired. That's it. Uh, I don't care who works on it either. I don't care if you're left, right, up, down, BA, select, start. <laughs> Dad joke. Dad Nintendo joke. Sorry. No, I don't give a fuck who you are. The only requirement there is, is that you have talent. If you're a good artist and you're a good writer, I don't give a shit what you are. I don't fucking care. And that's the way it's got to be. That's the way it's got to be. Now, I know there's a bunch of other logistical stuff to worry about. Uh, this isn't completely fleshed out yet. But I think it's a pretty damn good start. You know, I have a dream. I have a dream. It always starts with a dream. So, let's see what we can do, people. Let's see what we can do. Um, in fact, I started up a, uh, a Proton Mail account. It's PumaFist at Proton.me. So that's PumaFist, capital P-U-M-A, capital F-I-S-T, at Proton.me. You can contact me there. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff we can talk about. If you got questions uh, for me in general, uh, if you got something you want me to answer, whatever it is, you can just send it to that, uh, that Proton Mail account. Anyway, that's the video for now. Uh, I'm going to think about this some more, and hopefully I get some uh, feedback from you guys. I'd love to hear from you on this, if you think it's a good idea or not. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see if we can take back Western comics, beat manga, and beat the big two. Beat them all. Beat them all. All right, folks. Puma Fist out.